Yo, yo, what's the word, y'all? About to go live with Immortals in. Let me get him in here real quick. Here we go. This live about to be lit, y'all. Stay tuned. I just need to get him in here connected. We about to be chopping it up for a good hour, y'all. Let me send him a message right quick. Let me send him a message right quick. <clears throat> How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? He said, ready for some crazy questions. Yep, we is. What's the topic? We're going to be talking about everything. We're going to be talking about spirituality. We're going to be talking about everything that's going on current. We're going to be talking about anything y'all want us to talk about. I'm just trying to get him in here real quick. Hold on. I think I see him. Nope. Where's bro at? Hold on, y'all. He said talk about aliens. Hold on. All right, y'all. He uh he about to switch over now. I think he about to get on now. He was on Instagram just a minute ago. I'm charging up my other phone though, so if y'all on Instagram. Y'all could uh, jump in on there too. I'm just waiting on my phone to charge. You believe in past life, reincarnation, souls, and purposes? Of course. You feel me? Why you think? Why you think everybody feel like they already been here? Why you feel like it's certain things in your life and certain people that you didn't knew knew before, and that this ain't your first time here, or it's just something that you're really good at? That's because everybody done been here before. You look at a baby when they being when they growing up, it's almost like it's almost like they're trying to remember who they is. All right, there he is. I got him. Boom. Yo, yo, what's the word, fam? <coughs> yo, your connection a little laggy. Hold on, let me tell you. Yeah. I was on Instagram live. Dang, my shit lagging. Hold on. Yeah, it's better not. Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My shit lagging. My shit. Hold up, hold up. That shit went out, bro. Nah, this my only one. That's why I told you to bring it back. This shit work, bro. He said, what you think about Mr. Charles Branson's oh, Charles space Branson. flight? What is that? <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, I'm about to... Hey, bro, let me just sit in the back. I got, like, a little clip. Let me, you can do your shit, bro. I'm just sit in the back. Like, bro, shit. I'm not going to say nothing. Like, I just want to feel like I'm good. All right, bet. All right, all right, all right. You can do that, bro. My fault, dog. I, I had to down get right real quick. Oh, no, you good. You good. Shit. Hey, we live, though. Yeah, we live, you know, for we sure. start out with first, bro. <laughs> um, shit. Um, first, I'll just introduce. You can introduce yourself, oh, actually. Shit. Go ahead. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One second, God. One sec, one sec. My bet. shit. My volume is low. Hold up, let me see if I can. Damn. Hold on, say something real quick. Yo. Yo. All right, bet that. That's kind of better. All right, bet that, bet that. All right, bet that, bet that. Bet. Oh, damn, nah. Bet. All right, bet, bet. Yours is just lagging. All right, straight now. Yep. All right, so go ahead, introduce yourself, bro. All right, so go ahead, introduce yourself, bro. All right, well, for the people on his live, I'm Immortal Zen. Most of y'all probably see me on y'all For You page and whatnot, talking about some conspiracy theories or whatever. Um, We're going to come on here and talk about uh the Delta variant, zombie apocalypse, um Hollywood and the industry and how that shit work. Um, I don't really say my age on here, know where I'm from. But just now I'm from outer space. <laughs> One of the latest niggas on TikTok, man. Me and the God, man. No you cap. already know how we rock no it. No we gonna get right. We gonna inform y'all, enlighten y'all. We gonna have fun. We gonna turn up, man. Facts. 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 Yes, 
Yes, sir. And then you can introduce yourself for the people on my live. Yeah, no cap. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, okay. basically, so, yeah, basically, all right, I'm Double R the Guy for y'all who don't know. Um, I'm a producer, engineer, rapper. That's what I mostly do. That's my main thing. And uh, everything that I'm doing now with my TikTok and stuff, that's just been a part of my journey and just... You know, me wanting to get the message out here to people and, and talk and, and expand these ideas to other people. Yep. Yes, sir. And um if you don't if you don't know, you can check out my page. And I got some uh you can see some of my content I'm doing, the words are spells. You've probably seen them before on your for you page. Just go to the bottom and watch every single one that just started from uh part one to all the way to part fifty and just absorb the knowledge and watch them in order. You feel me? And that shit go deep too. That shit go deep. No cap. I be watching your videos, man. I be like, damn, there's words out there that I ain't even know had double meanings like this and this and that. Like the the common ones is good morning. Change that to Grand Rising. Um, the second one is uh what's another word that we not even really be less blessing. Yeah bless you or whatever be less that's be less and shit like that it's hella words out there that you done put me on to man i done got down that shit go deep no nah, real talk that shit nah, go deep no nah, yeah it, it's some real shit like i was saying on my live um yesterday like people don't really realize how powerful your words are and that you know everything is emanated from the mind all the words that you say literally is the next step into creating your reality you know what i'm saying you have a thought and then the next step is to vocalize that thought and to put it into action by saying what you need to do and responding to the universe and communicating with the universe, uh, doing affirmations, you know what I'm saying? So understanding how the words work and understanding how certain words inflect and bring about certain energies uh, really help you in your day to day life manifesting, just moving around and communicating with people, period. And it's crazy because the more that I look at words, you know, some always been on my mind, like, you know, as far as the the black community you know as far as what would be what's the first step that we need to improve ourselves and the first thing that come to my mind is communication and you know we always talk about the black community but how can you have a community without communication you know what i'm saying and the words the words is right there in our face so it's like when you start to really break down the words and look at the words you will understand life in a different perspective and and the answers will start coming to you just by looking at the words because now you understand that life is really about words like people say uh actions speak louder than words or you know um they say uh sticks and stones may break my bones but words may never hurt but people don't really realize words are actually physical actions you know what i'm saying like and can actually damage you even worse than something physical you know like a sword, you know, it's, it's, you could say something to somebody that stick with them for years and years. You will heal from a wound after time. It's going to be some type of trauma. But at the end of the day, it's certain shit that stick with us that made us who we are from stuff that we didn't heard from our childhood. Yeah, that's facts, too. Yeah. Because it's all energy and motion. Facts. Emotion coming from those words, too. Yep. No cap, man. Yo, yo, you freezing a little bit. Yo, Zen. Hold on, y'all, I'm about to shoot him a message. Hold on, y'all, I'm about to shoot him a message. No problem, uh, Sarai Mendez. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna invite him again. His uh connection probably just went bad. Probably about to go back in the crib. But yeah, y'all. Words is powerful. And we we need to all realize that we need to be able to communicate with each other and build all the time. Uh as a man thinker, James Allen, good book, those seeds, thoughts and mind manifestation. So what's up, y'all? What y'all, what y'all want? What y'all want to talk about? Blessings, I'm with it. Back and strong. Not two of my favorite people on the same platform collaborating. Yeah, it's happening. It's happening, y'all. What's the word, uh, Indy? What's up, uh, Yaya? Love. Let me 
to see if bro back on yet. You know what I think happened? His phone might have died low key. I think that's what happened. Well, yeah, y'all, y'all throw up some. Um, he said, "Do I lucid dream a lot?" No, I don't actually, because I smoke a lot, and smoking stops you from dreaming a lot. But I do have lucid dreams though that are very, very vivid dreams. You said, "How do I start a plant-based diet?" <clears throat> okay, so the best way to start a plant-based diet or what I would recommend is to first just slowly start eliminating meats out of your diet. Slowly start eliminating stuff out of your diet that you can get rid of. Like, for example, if you drink milk, start eliminating milk out of your diet. And then each every two every two weeks or to every month, start eliminating something else. Eliminate milk, then start eliminating uh, pork. Then the next month, eliminate beef. Then the next month, eliminate chicken. And, and each month, your body is going to start to evolve and start to adapt to not having a certain food in your body. And it'll give you time to uh, to transition as opposed to just doing one big jump and just switching over completely. That's going to be hard to do. Some people can do it, but some people can't. Another thing is, too, is to start uh, going to restaurants now that are already plant based. Just start going to restaurants that uh, go to restaurants that are uh, vegan restaurants. Try out some of their food so you can familiarize yourself with some of the stuff that vegans actually eat and understanding that what what vegans eating isn't too far fetched from what what people who eat meat is. You know what I'm saying? It's just about opening your mind up. And then what's going to happen is you're going to realize that you it's more it's more uh options to eat vegan than it actually is to eat with meat and i know that might sound crazy but you know meat wouldn't even taste good if it wasn't for ve uh, vegetables the season the season is all made out of vegetables if you take the season and off a burger and just eat the burger plain it's gonna taste dry and nasty it's not gonna not gonna have no flavor so really the only thing that you want from the meat is the texture so if you can find a texture replacement to put in your food, as long as you season it, it'll taste like whatever you want it to taste like. So this is where you see vegans eating stuff like uh, fried mushrooms or fried cauliflower because it gives that texture of meat. And that's that's a, a big part of it, because you switching over from a solid diet to a diet that most of the elements in it are consisting of 85 percent water and up like watermelon is like 95 percent water uh fruits and vegetables are majority just water so you know you digesting your food a lot faster you it makes you want to eat more you feel like you're not full so you know just having to adjust and knowing those differences another thing you could do is partially out of the week just go vegan like uh you can go vegan maybe two days out of the week and see how you like that or three days out of the week and and just start seeing how your body adapts to it and how it adjusts to it and how you feel and see how much cleaner you feel somebody say do you fuck with vegan meats um this is my thing about vegan meats and it's a psychological thing and it's a it's a physical thing i eat vegan meats sometimes and and i'm real picky about the ones that i eat it's depending on how they look, how they smell, and how they taste. Like, I don't want to eat anything that tastes like actual meat. And that's the thing. That's the psychological part of it. Because why would you want to Why would you wanna train yourself? Yeah. Yo, we was just talking about... Hold on, man. Uh, we was just talking about vegan meat. Somebody was saying, do I eat? Do I fuck with vegan meats? I was just saying, um, like, it's the psychological side of it, and then it's the physical side of it, because it's like... <laughs> The psychological part is you don't want to eat nothing that tastes like meat. You know what I'm Hold saying? On one sec, bro. One sec. I want to eat something that's going to be like, you know, that's going to be like black bean burgers. I fuck with black bean burgers because it gives you the consistency of a burger. It gives you the taste of a burger almost, but it don't taste like a burger. It don't taste like meat. Like impossible, impossible. Uh, is it impossible? Whatever they got at Burger King. I don't the impossible bro. Yeah, I don't fuck with the impossible. Yeah, bro. I tried that yeah, that's one shit. time and threw and spit it out the window. Like, 
Like that shit was <laughs> terrible, bro. Like it tasted too much. It tasted too much like meat to me. Yeah, yeah. My mom just asked me if I wanted one like two days ago. I ain't even respond. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't even do it. Man. I can't even do it. No cap. It's a psychological thing, bro, because I feel like it gets to a point to where it's like, all right, we're going to get it to taste like meat to this level so that at some point you're going to be like, well, damn, this tastes like meat and it smells like meat. I might as well just eat meat. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the next step. That's the next step. Hey, froze. Oh, there. Yeah, there it go. There it go. It had froze. Yeah. Damn, why am I shit tweaking like this? Why? My my you, connection is unstable. My shit keep on. Hell yeah. You can hear I can you hear, can hear me or, or like, I can hear you, but at certain times you will go out a little bit. Damn. It's you smooth now. Nah, you smooth now. Nah. All right, bet that, bet that. Yeah. But hell yeah, that impossible burger shit. That shit <laughs> they done made them. They done made 3D printed chicken. Fake chicken at KFC too. 3D. I'm print. like, what in the yeah. world? Let me go yeah. Some water. No, that's wild. So how you feel? How you feel about the vegan meats? Like, what's your take on that? Um, you know, I, I really don't mind it because it's not the fact that vegans don't want to eat things that look like meat or things in that nature. It's the how can I say it? Because some people would be like, why are you eating uh, veggies in the shape of a hamburger or a hot dog or, you know what I'm saying, things in that nature. And it's not even really like we don't like the fact that we eating chicken or, you know what I'm saying, it looked like hamburger, it looked like it looked like whatever. Right. It's the fact that we trying to eat healthier. It's not the fact <laughs> that we trying to, you feel me? Exactly. You feel me like, it, it really don't make no sense to me. I, like, like People would be out here eating so many things, but if they didn't have the spices that go with that food, they would not eat it. All those spices. <laughs> bro, I was just literally saying that during the time you was out. It's, it's wild, bro. Like, it's so crazy to me. No, nah, that shit is facts. That's why I'm like, it's two sides of it. Like, it's the psychological aspect of it to me where it's like, are y'all niggas trying to you know, tweak with our brain. Bro, but... You hear me? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the yeah, psychological aspect. Unstable. It's like, it's the psychological aspect of, you know, are y'all trying to fuck with our brains? And then it's the side of it, like, I fuck with it because it gives us an alternative because this transition not easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. if you don't exactly. have the recipes... Like, because I, I don't know how long you've been vegan for it, but I've been, you know, plant-based for, like, five years. You feel me? And five years ago, it was just starting to pop. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas wasn't, niggas, it wasn't easy. Like, niggas didn't, it, there was no Impossible Burger. There was no, no vegan section. Like, there was none of that at the store. So, it was a lot more difficult, but now yeah. it's easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, one. When me and my queen first went vegan, we was smoothing it out, bro. We was smoothing it out, everything. Just, just drinking straight smoothies. <laughs> straight smoothies. Yeah. Drinking straight smoothies and eating plantains. I swear to God, that's all we was eating. Then my girl, she just, <laughs> she started getting cold with the recipes, bro. Like, she was taking the Puerto Rican recipes and, and just mastering them and making them vegan, you know? And start, adding, start, and start adding stuff where we were missing certain things. That's what's up. I be I be making so many smoothies too, man. But the thing is, I'm not I'm not vegan at the moment. I'm a pescatarian. I know that sounds so bad, but I've been pescatarian for like four years, and it helps me make the transition over to being vegan. Because I know I'm not supposed to be eating. I'm, I know I'm not supposed to be eating any animal that breathes, anything that breathes. But coming from my last religion before I became spiritual my mom's religion is Jehovah witness and what their religion is. Well, what they do in their religion, not a lot of them do this, but according to the Bible, man was supposed to eat fish. And, um, being in that religion, I took that upon myself to stop eating chicken and stop eating beef and all that other stuff. And you know what I'm saying? Eat seafood. 
Um, so I've been doing that for the past four years and it helps me make the transition to going on a plant-based diet. You know what I'm saying? Because I got to eat according to my blood type. I got to eat, you know what I'm saying, get the right minerals and uh, things of that nature so I don't mess my body up. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, no cap. No, nah, most definitely. Because, yeah. like I said, the transition the transition is difficult. Like, it's not, it's not, no, it's not no easy thing. Like, and what helped with me and my girl was the fact that we had each other to go through it with because we did yeah. it at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. it wouldn't have been as easy for me and it wouldn't have been as easy for her if we hadn't have did it together. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. but I feel like as long as niggas taking steps and are conscious of they of their progress and are making taking yeah. steps towards to being that next best person that next best being of themselves that's all that matter right. as long as every right. day you improve and it's not about just it's not about building a house in one day it's about setting the brick perfectly every day until yep. that bitch is a mansion you know what i'm saying yeah and then after you look up yeah. like damn we didn't build the mansion you know what i'm saying that's yeah all that hey. that's all that matters for real, for real though that's what's up man that's what's up because even still like like I'm not a hundred percent vegan, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes I go back and forth, like I eat cheese, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes I'd be wanting cheese, but I it was a certain point in time where we just completely eliminated cheese and then we got weak yeah. at one point. But even still we we take steps and we limit like we might have cheese like once a month or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And keep it keep it at a balance. But it's always it's always room for improvement. It's always room yeah. for improvement. As long as as long as it's like it's one thing to smoke a cigarette, you know what I'm saying? Not mm -hmm. not condoning cigarettes at all, but it's one thing to smoke a <laughs> cigarette and be like telling other people they should smoke cigarettes. But it's another thing yeah. when you like, yeah, I smoke cigarettes, but this is not the right thing to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you gotta at least acknowledge what you're doing is wrong. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like don't try to convince other people what you're doing is okay. Like at least give yeah. other people the opportunity to know, like, all right. That's something you do, but that's not something I have to do or I yeah, have to feel right. like I have to do. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know, they on their own square. Yeah. And a lot of people feel like in this spiritual thing, they feel like they have to do certain things. And I feel like being vegan is one of them. But although everybody does need to be vegan, people think they have to do it. And if they don't, then they're not going to open their third eye and evolve. And it's so wild to me, like, of course, it's a good thing to go vegan, but it's not something that people need to rush into and something that they think they need to do in order to transcend it, transcend their consciousness. It's wild to me. Exactly. Because a lot of people, spirituality has rules to it, but there's no rules to it. It's, you go at your own pace. You feel me? Exactly. And as long as, you know, as long as we all know that we're going to get somewhere and we're getting somewhere, it doesn't matter how you take your path. It, it could be you could be walking you could be flying you could be crawling you can be damn teleporting you could be damn <laughs> skipping and hopping exactly you feel me exactly get there that's all that matters facts no cap that's what i be trying to tell new people on my uh on my end on my supporters it's no it's no rules to spirituality because a lot of people be <clears throat> young coming into spirituality thinking they gotta do meditation every day they think they gotta they gotta they gotta eat right every day and be strict on this spirituality thing i be trying to tell them man it's not even like that it's really not even like that but i gotta remember back when i was starting my spiritual journey i was trying to do everything right bro i was trying to meditate every day i was you know what i'm saying trying to do everything right but um now that i'm further into my spiritual journey it's not even i don't even i take it serious but i don't really take it that serious like i don't I don't try to meditate every day. You know what I'm saying? Like I have to meditate today. If I don't, then I'm not going to not going to train. No, facts. Facts. It's yeah. crazy. It's <laughs> crazy you say that because I just recently just started back meditating again like consistently like on a day-to-day -day yeah. basis and it's like at a certain point in time I was like like I feel I felt like I didn't need to meditate and there was a certain point in time where I felt like I needed to meditate every day. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's like yeah, yeah. you go through, you got to know your own balance because it's like, first of all, we living in this society that's computerized. You know what I'm saying? We living in a matrix society where we have to to beat the odds and we got to always find a, a more constructive way of doing things. 
So it's like, yeah, it was points in time where it's like, all right, you know, sometimes I meditate just while I'm sitting down, while I'm driving in the car or, you know, while I'm walking or stuff and something like that. It's just about yeah. focusing and being able to breathe. And um, sometimes it would just be like, I just meditate once a day. But now more recently, I've just been I've been back on my groove of just doing it every day, doing it every day, just focusing on my breathing because I know it's I know that that breathing is important. Like most deaf. Most deaf. And you can meditate while washing dishes, while you're driving, like you said, vacuuming, cleaning your room. That's the times where I like to do it. But if I'm uh, intentionally trying to calm my mind and focus on my breathing, that's when I sit down in the lotus flower position and actually, oh, dang. That airplane loud as I don't know what. I don't know if you can still hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. This airplane flying over ahead. I'm, I'm going to wait till it pass by. That thing loud. But, yeah, you can meditate. Um while washing dishes and things of that nature. That's what I like to do unless I'm intentionally trying to focus on my breath work and get in the present moment. I sit down in lotus flower position and really get into it. Probably turn on the binaural beat and, yeah. you know, go, 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 go with the flow and things of that nature. Most deaf. So one thing um, I want to talk about, since you are a producer, you're getting into music. <clears throat> what do you what do? You, well, not even what do you, where do you see yourself 10 years or five years in the music industry with all this satanic stuff going on? Um, I don't really see myself in the music industry. You know what I'm saying? Like before, when I first started making music, it was like, you yeah. know, let's get a label, let's get a deal, let's get signed and all that, you know, cause that's what, you know, sound good. But yeah, yeah. right now, you know, um, you know, the internet is different now. You can have your own platform and and still make your own music and do that type of stuff. So I'm not really depending on nobody else to, yeah. to market my music or handle my music. I've been handling my music, you know what I'm saying? I've been engineering mm -hmm. it. I've been producing it. So I don't really need nobody else help to do anything outside of a film or something like that. But yeah, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just keep doing me and just and just be independent because and if I if I happen to work with people in the industry, then I'ma just work with them on my own time, you know? Yeah, yeah, most deaf, most deaf. Yeah, most it's, deaf. it's definitely it's definitely a lot of fishy stuff in that industry. So Yeah, man. I done heard some I done heard some wild stuff. I done heard people talk about um <clears throat> people being new to the industry, you know what I'm saying? They go to the studio, probably with a, a couple other celebrities, and they thinking it's official. You know what I'm saying? They get in the stew. They rapping or whatever. Somebody passed them a little blunt. Somebody passed them a little drink. Niggas that's new in the uh, industry, they don't know not to drink after somebody or smoke after somebody because right. it might be laced. And, you know, it's people out there that you get in that stew. They pass you that drink. They pass you that blunt. Next thing you know, you out. And on some real shit, I ain't even trying to be, like, nasty or whatever. But these niggas will really, like, gang up on one nigga and do some some sexual stuff and record it so when he goes to get that record deal they blackmail him they like all right we got this video right here you can't say anything about it but you got to sign this deal and that's how most of these celebrities get trapped right because they get black and that's why i feel like a lot of celebrities they take a whole lot of shrooms they take a whole lot of drugs that's why that's why we hear a whole lot about drugs and sex and and you know all these low vibrational things, but mainly drugs is because what they've seen in the industry, it got them so messed up in their head that they have to find an escape. They have to escape. You know what I'm saying? That's why I feel like we hear a whole bunch about the drugs and all this other stuff. But it's so crazy. It's so crazy what goes on in the industry, man. I done heard so much stuff, man. Like it's wicked. Like it's really wicked. No, it's really wicked. Definitely. It's on. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely an agenda in the hip hop industry for sure. It definitely is Most an agenda, dead. and and it, what's even crazier is, I feel like a lot of people in the in the industry don't even don't even realize that it's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. A lot of them, a lot of them are just pawns being played in the game, and they don't yep. even know because because a lot yeah. of a lot of the the stuff that we know, they don't even know. You know what I'm saying? These yeah. is niggas, these is niggas that's. Just like niggas we know in our hood that don't, you know, that don't really know too much that 
uh, if they get signed, they're going to give half of that money to their people, not knowing that it's a loan. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. So they getting into, and they getting into this world and then the people above them don't even ain't even giving them the telltale like what's going on. Because it, cause, cause right. it worked better in their favor for them not to even know. We just going to get you some clothes. Yeah. Go put this on real quick. And you're not even knowing that you were yeah. part of this whole whole fucking ritual and, and all this other other crazy ass shit. You just know you're getting paid and as that is better than it was. And that's that that'd be the issue yeah. because a lot of our people don't have enough in them to, you know, be peaceful and be spiritual and to know like I don't need to to live my life like this and that this is not what I should be valuing. A lot of people don't know yeah. what's really going on. You know what I'm saying? And that's what makes it so crazy because it's like you would know certain people that know industry people. And it's like, well, I know him. You know what I'm saying? Seeing like he chill, take care of his people. That's because yeah. that's they don't even know. They, they're not even right. aware of it. They they just figuring this shit out. Like, damn, mm -hmm. this is what's going on. But it is something that do know. Like, it's for yeah, sure. They family, that... members. they family members, <laughs> too, because they can't say much about it either if they if they do know. Yeah, yeah, that's wild to me, man. Yeah, it is. That shit. So, do you have any advice for anybody that's wanting to get into rapping or the industry? Do you have any advice for the people that want to be <clears throat> independent artists? Um, hell yeah. Uh, make music from your heart because that's all that really matters. When you making your okay. when you making music based off of I'm trying to make a hit, that's cool, but don't be making it based off of money. Don't be saying stuff just for money because money isn't a real thing. You feel me? So yep. when you base everything you do off of something that's not even real, what is your life based off of? Nothing. Right, right. You feel me? So mm -hmm. you gotta you you will say things for money that you wouldn't say from your heart. You will say things and do things for money you wouldn't do from your heart. Do from your heart because that's what you're gonna attract. Do what you love because this the music that you're making. Not everybody has the ability to do it. So do it as a way to express yourself and to express express other people's emotions and stuff because that's what's that's what's important. People not looking for fast food, they're looking for a home cooked mm -hmm. meal. You know what I'm saying? Even if even if you know what I'm saying, even if you feeling like what you what you want to rap about today is some ratchet shit. Rap about some ratchet <laughs> shit, because that's what you're feeling and that's the emotions that you're going through. So yeah. Don't don't deny what you feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, right. Like, like I was talking to my homeboy earlier. Like, you know, we was uh talking about doing a tape amongst the people in our neighborhood. You know, and a lot of the music they is you know it's hype yeah. music. You know what I'm saying? A lot of gutter shit. But yeah. would would I be wrong? You know what I'm saying to put out that type of music. But what which would be more important? You know what I'm saying? Like, of course. It's a, a, a negative frequency, but the music is still good and the talent is there. And I'm also bringing my people together. So which one yeah. outweighs the other? You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, right. you know, it's only so much control over what I have, what I can tell them to say. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's only mm -hmm. so much control over what I can tell them to say. But at the same time, yeah. I want to help my people get out here. And I know this this could be a way to get them away from this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you got to be able to look at it from so many different perspectives because the yeah. feeling, the feeling is there. I would be, I would be a fool not to take advantage of the people in my neighborhood and get them to do something collaboratively and build connections and relationships. Yeah. That's more important because obviously it's a system right. that's already into play. That's that says mm -hmm. you, you have to do this or you won't be accepted or, or you're not going to get no attention mm -hmm. from this. And we got miles to feed. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we can't make a change without money. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to have money to a certain yeah. extent. If we want to make differences in our communities, we need money. It, it's not thoughts and yeah. thinking about all of this shit not going to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? You need, right, right. you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's so many different ways. It's so many different ways to look at it. Another thing, um, another thing too is is just go hard, go hard with your music every time. You know what I'm saying? Like, go hard, be inspired by other people, allow other people to inspire you, and make sure you inspire other people. Stay consistent. If this is something that you want to do, you can do it. You can do it independently. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to have six point eight million followers. All you, all, all mm. the amount of money that you need 
is enough to cover your bills month to month. That's it. I don't care if, yeah. you, if you if you making a thousand dollars a week off of your month off your uh your music. That's four thousand dollars a month. What's four times mm-hmm. twelve? That's thirty six thousand dollars a year you making off music. That's not even yeah. that's not even the residuals. That's not even none of the other stuff. You know what I'm saying? So you can really build your own lifestyle and not, and not have to depend off nobody. Y'all, we living in the in the age of Aquarius. We living in the age of information. It's it's people making money off their cell phone. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to you don't have to work every day if you don't want to. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to work a corporate job yeah. if you don't want to. Not saying that it's anything wrong with that, but it, you have more options now. You know what I'm saying? You can do different things. Yeah. <laughs> Most. So hold on, Mark. My bad, my bad. No, you good. Oh, but definitely. Yeah, real deal, real still though, for real. Yeah. Oh yeah, one more thing. If any, my bad, right? Yeah, one more thing. To be original too. Be original with your music. Yeah, most deaf. For real, because a lot of people feel like they gotta be like young boy. They gotta be like baby. They gotta be like stunner. They gotta be like somebody else to make it, but. If you original, that's what's really going to get that connection. That's really going to make you stand out, I feel like. Instead of people wanting to be like the top artist at the moment. To, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people think, I need to rap about I need to rap about drugs. I need to rap about women. I need to rap about money. I need to rap about violent stuff in order to make it. As long as you're original... That's what really counts, honestly, because a lot of people feel like they got to be a clone, man. Honestly, ain't even a way to go. It's not. Yeah, most definitely. Original. That's the key, I feel like. Yeah. And then I got this other question. Um, who would you collab with in the industry? Hmm. That's a great question. <laughs> I, I'm I'm not gonna lie. I would collab with a lot of people because I fuck with a lot of people musically. Like it's crazy because even though even though the frequency is kind of low for the music, I feel like people are yeah. gonna, I feel like people are gonna look back on this this age of music like a golden age of music because it's a yeah. lot of good music right now. Like remember yeah. remember when remember when Kodak Black and Twenty One Savage and all them was on the cover of the new hottest artist that was coming out Uh-oh. and, yeah, and yeah. everybody was hamming them. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. they was freestyling and niggas like, this is garbage. But now yeah. them niggas is like hall of fame. Like you can't, no, no, you can't yeah. not speak on Kodak black. You can't not speak right. on 21 Savage. Like them niggas is really sweet. Like 21 Savage has a song with J Cole. Like that's legendary. Yeah. That's yeah. really legendary. Yeah. And, he, and he has hits with him. Like, mm-hmm. like, the little baby got song with J Cole. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, this is the generation. This is the eight, the era of music where the where the bridge is being closed. Like it's being like uh-huh. they're connecting the older generation with the younger generation, bro. And it's happening. Yeah, like, it, it really is. Yeah. So, like, I feel like being open to working with people is what works because when you look at music back in the day, it was competitive. Uh-huh. It was very competitive. Like, right. like, nigga, if you said you rap, you better, you better have a, <laughs> you better have three, <laughs> you better have three raps prepared to rap. No cap. And it better be some hard ass shit. Like, back in the day, you couldn't, now if you say you a rapper, you gonna send somebody your link. You know what I'm saying? Like, you not about to, you not about to sit there and just rap. Like, we in a different age. Right. It's not, it's not competitive how it used to be. Niggas used to rap yeah. battle. Niggas still rap battle, but that was like prevalent, like, I'm about to attack you with these words. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now it's like, yeah. now it's like everybody want to work together. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Dance music is yeah. coming back more. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is starting to dance a lot. So it's yeah. like everybody's coming together. Like, for yeah. example, for example, back in the day, if two people sounded the same, that would probably cause a beef. Now yeah. they're more yeah. than likely to do a song together. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Just because of that. Mm-hmm. So it's yeah. like, but to answer your question, 
I would definitely want to work. I know this sounds crazy, but I definitely want to work with Kanye. Like that's the first person that comes to my mind. Hey. Kanye, oh yeah, Kanye Cole. You know what I'm saying, Kanye yeah. Cole. Um, yeah, I definitely want to work with Future. I definitely okay. want to work with uh, Cole for Kendrick. sure. Drake Kendrick for sure. Um, yeah, yeah. But some, I'm gonna I'm I'm say some weird ones. I ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna say the off the top ones. I say somebody like, like, like Lupe. You feel me? Lupe Fiasco. Okay, okay. Like Lupe. Um, who else? Who else? I fuck with John Legend music, but he he been on some weird shit. You feel me? So yeah, I feel you. Up there no more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, who's some more people that come to my mind? Wayne, definitely Wayne, definitely Wayne. Yeah, Wayne is called. What's that? Wayne is called. Yeah. But yeah. Who else? Damn. Um, Bust the rhymes. It seemed like he kind of getting into this uh, this exposing the truth. I'm not sure if you heard his uh, album, The Extinction Level Two. Oh you yeah, heard I heard. I heard a little bit of that. Yeah, I feel like y'all would be great. Like y'all, y'all go crazy, man. He said immortal technique. Yeah, immortal technique is called too. Oh yeah. yeah. I feel like you you go crazy with Hobson too. Yeah, definitely. But Hobson, I don't know about Hobson though, because I heard I done heard something about a Gucci suit. He had to wear a Gucci suit. I'm not even sure if Hobson a clone himself. I really don't know. Mm. But y'all would be fire on the track though. Yeah, that would be called. That would definitely yeah, be called. For it. But yeah, I ain't gonna cap. I really be, <clears throat> I really be enjoying with working with the people around me because I feel like it's more genuine. You know what I'm saying? Building yeah, yeah. up with the people that I'm around because that's where like it's like that's what them niggas was doing. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas was just yeah. working with, you know, they people, and, and that shit is yeah. crazy. that shit is crazy. Like they made it for what it is, and that's that's how I feel. Like I want to make it for what it is. Like no okay. cap, most definitely. Most stuff. How long you been rapping, bro? Since I was fourteen. Word. That's lit. That's what's up. I've been trying to get into rapping, um, but every time it seemed like I, I write because I got about like six songs, but it seemed like every time I listen to it, I'd be like, "How the hell did I do that?" But then when I write, it's like I get writer's block. I'm so amazed by my songs and after the finished product. But when I try to make another song, I get writer's block, bro. It's like, how did I make that last song then? I don't get it. Like, every time. It's every time I write a write a song. It's writer's block. It's writer's block. Yeah. I get three, four bars in. Mine go completely blank. I'm like, yo. Bro, that's how, that's <laughs> how, that's how I do uh, sometimes. Like, you just, gotta, you just gotta push through it, bro. You just gotta break through the barrier and just keep, like, so, bro, it, it was times, bro, where I would literally sit down and just think for like an hour. Like it yeah. was points, it was points in my rapping where I just, I just had to sit down where I was just. It would take me four hours to write a rap. Like I'm really, ra I'm really rapping though. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. sitting yeah. there at the at the piano, looking at the clock. Like damn, I've been sitting here for three hours writing this song. <laughs> like for real, it'd be like that sometimes. Yeah. yeah, I feel you. That's dedication right there, for real. Okay. I feel like if or dedication towards rapping, I feel like I'd be able to really put my mind to it and do it. But sometimes I just do it just to have fun or just to hear myself on a track. Thanks. Cause it is fun to hear your own voice and hear how you flow and just turn up to yourself. No, nah, it's me? it's definitely like it's definitely an art. Like just like some people don't professionally hoop, they just like to go hoop, but they still yeah. see that hooping like <laughs> You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I can still hoop, though. Yeah. Like, I still bust your ass yeah. on this court real quick. You feel me? Like <laughs> it's the same thing. Like I feel like it's a hobby, but some niggas, some niggas ain't never went to the league, but some niggas be playing B league, C league, D league. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All that. So it's like you know, some niggas just be fucking around the studio and then fuck around, and make a cold ass banger. You know? Yeah, most deaf, most deaf, most deaf. And I feel like whenever, whenever I'm not really trying to make a good song it feels like i i make a good song whenever i'm not trying whenever i'm just saying whatever you know what i'm saying yeah instead of me all right i'm gonna do this right here i'm gonna say this right
right here. This is how I want the song to sound. Boom, 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 boom. It's not really, it's not really hitting like I want it to. But when I just go in, uh, I don't even care. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Say if I'm freestyling or whatever. Boom, 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 boom. Record, record, record. And I'm listening to it. And I'm like, yo, this shit hard. This shit hard. It's better than the songs that I tried to write down and, you know what I'm saying, really organize. Man, no, it's, it's, no it's, cap. It's, That's how I be feeling. It's, it's crazy how it works. Uh, wow. Um, no, that's exactly how I be feeling, bro. That's exactly how I be feeling. Man. But yeah. I'm gonna try to most definitely get that get that going somehow. Yeah. So bro. Hold on, my, my... No, so all right, there we go. My fault. My no, so what I what I was gonna say was um I was gonna say, so how did how did you get hip to all the you know spiritual stuff and all the you know conscious stuff? Um, I feel like I've always been spiritual, um, spiritually tapped in, um, coming from a Christian background and a Jehovah Witness background, although they didn't really resonate with me, I felt the need that, um, well, not even I felt the need, it was more of, I felt this connection to the spiritual realm. Um, and indulging in knowledge and learning about myself and learning about the universe and how this universe works. Um, after I left my mom's religion, that's when I really started to um, dive deep into the laws of the universe, dive deep into myself and how the universe works. And what made, things what made you leave? What made you leave a religion? Um, <laughs> it was. It was a couple things that made me lead a religion. Um, one of them being the respect between other religions not there. Like I was Christian for a little bit and I was Jehovah Witness. And you know, Christians will look at Jehovah Witnesses like they crazy. Right. And Jehovah Witnesses look at Christians like they crazy, but it's just so wild to me that they both thinking that they crazy, but they both believe in the same savior. Exactly. And it was just it was just a whole discombobulation and I didn't really get down with that. Like I, ain't, it just, I don't know. The respect wasn't there. And, um, I always felt like I shouldn't be looking outside of myself for a God. You know what I'm saying? Cause I can't even, I can't even give my all to somebody else outside of me. If I don't know myself, you know what I'm saying? So my way of finding God is tapping within and learning myself out. You know what I'm saying? And um, really, uh, I want to say we opened me up to being more spiritual, smoking weed. Um, after I started smoking weed, that's when my thoughts started flowing a lot more. My creativity, my third eye started opening. And that's when I was really kind of forced to leave the religion because I wasn't resonating with anything. It, it was like I was thinking of every other thing but that religion and like all the answers that they were given all the bible verses and things in that nature my mind would automatically go to a million other perspectives like that's just how my brain works it's just like i don't even know what's an example um on it just religion itself like just being there and hearing what the what the uh with the preacher or whatever it had to say, it was just, my mind was always 10 times, um, not even more advanced. It, it, my mind was just everywhere else other than that religion. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't really learning anything other than, um, be righteous. That's all I learned. Honestly, just be righteous. Right. But, um, yeah, uh, other than that, that's what made me leave and i had to figure myself out i had to figure who i was and my purpose on this earth instead of um believing these default beliefs you know what right, i'm saying exactly come world yeah like it's <clears throat> default beliefs. i feel like you come into this world we all come into this world with default beliefs you gotta go to school you gotta work a job you gotta go to college you gotta uh believe in god you gotta um be a grade a student you gotta do this you gotta do that those are default beliefs that I didn't, I, I ain't mess with it. Like school too. I ain't mess with school. There was one time where 
I wanted to drop out, man. I wanted to drop out of school. And I was in a principal office with my mom and my teachers and my principals. And I was telling them school is brainwashed, man. I'm out of here. School is brainwashed. But uh, I ended up staying because my mom wanted me to complete high school. So I did that. And, you know, it's all boiling down to I don't need anything outside of me because it's all within me. Exactly. Like the knowledge that I need from school, from college, is all within me. I don't need school. I don't need college. You know what I'm saying? And I felt the same way with religion. I don't really need it because it's all within me. The temple is within me. I don't need to find God outside of me. I didn't I didn't find God in a temple. I didn't find God in a church. I found God within myself. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So that's how that went down. And um I still tried to show my mom that I can be spiritual and have my head on um in the right way because it's very dangerous just to be out here lollygagging and not have your head on straight. Um, I still wanted to show her that I can still, you know what I'm saying, be spiritual, be righteous, and still go about my life in a good manner and um, be a good rep- representation of her. Right. No, exactly. It doesn't really have the things I do. Yeah. No, no cap. No, that's real talk. And I feel like it's a lot of default beliefs that people go through and, in they so they know it's not what they want to do, like possibly going to college or going to school. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like a lot of us, especially in the black community, going to school is something to be proud of. And because, you know, we never we didn't have or always had a right to go to school and be and learn. Yeah. So it's like to be black and have your your high school diploma is like everything to a black mom. Yeah, yeah. Them because that's letting them know that you're going to you're going to be good in the system you know what i'm saying and that's just how they've been conditioned to think but in actuality right. especially us as men we know this is not the lifestyle we're supposed to be living we're not supposed right. to be taking on this burden we shouldn't be in school this long we shouldn't be doing mm-hmm. homework like what's the point of coming to school if we got to go home with work like <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like that don't even make sense. Like I'm here eight. Hours. That's like that's like if you went to that's like if you work at McDonald's and then after your eight hour shift you got to go home and flip burgers. Like bro, I was all <laughs> I just left work. Like why am I coming home to flip McDonald's burgers? Like that don't make no sense. Like that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. And then when niggas don't want to do their homework, they mad. Like bro, like okay. then we then we then you go to school, you come back. You gone for three months, you don't remember shit. The first three months, we right. trying to relearn everything we just learned. The last right. year, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, then we get out of school and then we never use that shit. Like the only exactly. thing, the oh. only thing that was important in school was science and math to a certain extent. Like pretty, we don't yeah, use, yeah. we don't use, we don't even only thing we use is is regular arithmetic, like. Multiplication, mm-hmm. division, subtraction, and addition. That's the only yeah. thing we and, and proportions, maybe. That's it. That's the yeah. only that's the only formula I remember is a proportion like if one over two is five over ten. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, I don't yeah. remember, I don't remember shit else from school, like outside of chemistry and stuff like that. But that was the only important thing. Like I feel like after 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 kindergarten. Like the way school is just set up is just kind of terrible. Like they make everybody mm-hmm. learn at the same pace. Like everybody don't right. learn at the same pace. So now you got right. now you got the smart kids that's that want to move ahead, tired mm-hmm. and lazy because they like I finished I read this chapter yesterday while y'all was reading this chapter. Like I'm on to the next page. Like you know now they got to wait. Now they bored. Then you got the kids that's that can't keep up like that. You know what I'm saying? Because right. really. They don't they don't work good in big groups. They supposed to be in mm-hmm. small groups or them kids that 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 they only do they work when they by themselves. Some kids gotta be in smaller settings. So it's like the way they just went about school was just they just they just want to push you through the system. You know what I'm saying? Like this, we training you to be in the system. So it's like we we subconsciously knowing that this shit not right. You know what I'm saying? We not supposed to be here. And that's that's really what it be. You know, you don't want to mm-hmm. go to college and not saying that college is not good, but you know, it's certain things that you want to go to college for. You want to go to college for science, technology, and business yeah. for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. because business is, I say business because, but you can you can learn how to run your own business off YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's like, yeah. 
everything is on YouTube now. Everything is on the internet. You can learn how to literally do any. You can learn how to work on a car, become a mechanic, and do all of that. Like we we really shifting into a different age, and I think it's important for people to understand that that the most important thing to pay attention to right now is how fast things are changing. Like you could be a yeah. barber, you could be be a barber and be practicing how much how good your cuts is, but you could be also be a barber that pays attention to all the new tools that come out. Now they didn't came mm-hmm. out with this barber tool that can cut your hair for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> or that's got a laser cutter, like, and you get yeah. so far behind technology, like, you could have yeah. invested into a whole barbershop that do self haircuts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not even be working. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you gotta pay okay. attention to the you gotta pay attention to the technology that's going on because you will get left behind. You will get left behind. Yeah. For real, man. For real. That's real deal, real spill. No cap at all. No cap. Let me take a sip. Hey, uh, tell them about these Delta variants. The Delta variant. I'm not sure if y'all know about the Delta variant. That's the new variant that's out. Um, I'm not sure if y'all know about the uh, theta brainwave state, Delta brainwave state, hey. alpha brainwave state, hey, and beta. What's up? Tell them what a variant is first. What you mean by variant? <laughs> okay, a variant is a type of um a type of mutation, like a type of virus, basically. And what they're doing with this virus is uh okay. So first, you got to understand the theta. Beta, alpha, and delta uh, brainwave states. The delta brainwave state is your lowest, your lowest brainwave state. I believe this works with a part of your subconscious mind, and um, I believe it's the lowest frequency of out of all of them. So basically, what they're doing is ushering in this zombie apocalypse with this delta variant, um, keeping people at a low at a low consciousness at a low frequency with this Delta brainwave, uh, brainwave variant or whatever you want to call it. Because first of all, the virus ain't even real, y'all. The virus ain't even real. So there is no cure for this virus. Um, what they're doing is trying to trick your brain into thinking it's a virus, thinking that it's mutating, thinking that it's doing all these extra things, but really it's all part of working with your brain and keeping you at a low state of consciousness and keeping you in fear that's a part of the delta brainwave state so um beware of um radiation beware of 5g towers as well because that's just that's that's exactly where it's coming from the uh, 5g towers the cell towers that surround you um, and radiation that's coming from your phone and all the other technologies that surround you. That is where that variant is coming from and keeping you in a low vibrational state, keeping you at a low consciousness. That's the new variant. If y'all want to go look into it, y'all can go type in on Google Delta, the Delta variant, leave, and look at the theta, beta, alpha, and delta brainwave states. Facts. And just make the connect right there. Facts. And the placebo, Missy down there, she said the placebo effect. Yes, the placebo effect is real, y'all. Mm-hmm. The placebo yep. effect is real. And somebody else said, yep. um, sad they missed the beginning of this. After we do this live, I'm going to download this live and upload it to my YouTube. So if y'all want to go to my YouTube page after and watch it, y'all can. And my YouTube link yep. is on my uh, TikTok profile. But, um, but yeah, no, the placebo effect is real, y'all. Like I said in my live the other day, um, our body is made out of atoms and the atoms in our body aren't even connect, aren't even touching each other. And those mm-hmm. atoms are made out of like 90% space. So your body is 90% space. You feel me? So you got to understand yep. that your body isn't even really, really connected right now. It's just a perception of what you think you're experiencing and everything mm-hmm. else around you is a perception of what you think you're experiencing because the atoms in the objects, the atoms in this wood behind me aren't, aren't connected either. So you're, you're living a reality that you want to perceive the, your reality changes based off of the electrical impulses that are being emitted by your brain. That's interfering with the electromagnetic frequency of the entire earth and the entire world. And there's a, a center consciousness that we all are connected to that, 
that mm-hmm. Zen was just talking about finding God within yourself. Everybody has that peace within themselves. And as we start to shift our frequency, the entire consciousness shift frequency will shift. And just, just right yep. now, the majority of the consciousness is in a negative frequency state. So as you yep. begin to push out more powerful thoughts and you begin to level your frequency at the range and start connecting with other individuals, that same frequency starts to push out. And that's that's really yep. what this shit is about for real. Yeah, no cap. No cap. That's so wild to me. And it's crazy that they telling us what this variant is without people even realizing that it's a part of your brain it's a part of your being it's a part of you it's a part of your consciousness and motherfuckers ain't even really realizing that it's so wild to me they tell us they tell us they show us exactly right in our exactly people still it's it's so wild to me man yeah no that's what you mad though because it was one video i did on the vaccine i really not even supposed to be saying the word but the jab and in the video, I said people are dumb if they got the jab. And my supporters, one of my supporters commented, um, people on a higher frequency aren't supposed to be telling people on a lower frequency that they're dumb because half of the things that we saying, they don't even understand because they're in a low state of consciousness. And exactly. half of the things that's out here, they're not able to understand. And it's not even their fault. That they under that they don't understand because they've been conditioned and programmed. But um I had said that people was dumb only because the signs is there. They put it in our face. It's like stealing candy from a little baby, man. Yeah. yeah. They talk about they talking about you can get a free burger, you can get a free fry. You just gotta get that. You just gotta <laughs> get that vaccine, man. Exactly. And it's like, how do people watch that? How do people watch that and be like, all right. I'm most definitely about to go get right with this vaccine, bro. Free burger, free fries, Krispy Kreme donut, a million dollars. What? Let me go get right. It's so wild to me how people can just look at that and really just fall for it. That's why I had said people are dumb. But, man, it be getting me so worked up because the Delta variant is right there in our face. And people are still, they everything still is on our brand. Yeah, they, they still they, they still that, fall for it. They in that dream state. That's what it is. Yeah, they in that dream. And that's state. Exactly what that. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what the Delta. Well, not even exactly, but uh, theta is more of a theta is more of a dream state. Um, Delta is more of a low consciousness type of thing. But yeah, that shit, man. That should be irking my nerves. Like I be I be seeing people. I be trying to tell people. Like one of my friends, he got the uh, the jab. And before I was telling him, like, bro, you need to wait at least two, three years. They ain't even tested this for long term side effects yet. Like, how you know two years from now you're not gonna be walking around here with an extra limb or with an extra head or with an extra eye or an extra ear or an extra, you know what I'm saying? An extra finger. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's it's like it's, so, it's, it's like it's enough information out here. For y'all to realize it's just y'all don't want to invest into y'all selves. It's like it's not even that y'all are dumb. Y'all just don't care. Like that's what yeah, that's, that's what it yeah. is. Like I feel like 50% of the people Back. don't know what's going on. Then there's mm-hmm. there's another 30% that know what's going on, but don't give a mm-hmm. fuck. And then <laughs> there's another 10% that are on their way there, and then it's the other 10% that's there, like. <laughs> That's exactly yeah. how it is. And it's like, we got to get Real, more people bro. that don't know what's going on to know what's going on because it's got to become an everyday conversation where people talking about yeah. it. Because mm-hmm. if if everybody was on the same page, this vaccine thing wouldn't even have been possible. And I honestly, right. or, or the jab, this thing wouldn't even have been yeah. possible because honestly, I feel like it didn't even go as well as they wanted it to because oh, yeah. most, of, most how, of how much people know about it and which is why you can't talk about it because they seen that the message got across and they was like all right so look at this point we're gonna have to start paying people <laughs> we're gonna have to start paying <laughs> we're gonna have we gotta go a little bit like when has the government ever gave people this much money to just right you know here take right. this like you don't it's even wild. you don't even like before they used to be worried about you smoking weed now drug now jobs don't even care about that no more 
They're like, you can smoke right. weed, just get a vaccine. Like, that's right. how you know. Like, they're giving, bro, they're giving $1,000 advances for people to work at a new job just to get it. Like, bro. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, they have they'll... never done this. They have right. never done this. Like, exactly. And, 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 but then what's even crazier is I don't know if it's like this where you live or where I live. You don't even got to wear a mask no more. Oh, yeah, yeah. Over here, too. I mean, in certain places you do. Right, right. But some of them, not so much. Like, it'd be people out there with no mask on. Sometimes they have a mask on. But, yeah, bro, it's, it's, I don't know, bro. It really ain't even go right for them how they really wanted it to because I feel like the world is waking up. People are starting to realize, but people, a majority of people are still asleep. So, I really feel like um, they're trying to weave out um, the old heads for one. They're trying to weave out the old heads because the old heads, they know what's up with the system. The older, older people, they know what's up with the system. They know how things work. But some of them are still taking this, uh, the jab. Facts. But if you get rid of the, if you get rid of the old heads, the people that, that set in this system, they, they set in foundation, they set in a system. If you get rid of them, who we ain't got no foundation if we ain't got no if we ain't got no no old heads that's that can call the shots that can really speak up for the youth man they got control over the future yeah. like it's that simple it's really that simple because the youth man we out here drugs 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 money 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 sex 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 and all this extra stuff we so focus on the materialistic world when it's a whole spiritual warfare going on out here so if you get rid of the substance, man, <laughs> might as well just call it raps, man. Facts. And that's what I feel like they do. Yeah, no, definitely. They definitely, they definitely trying to work their magic, bro. They definitely trying to work their magic. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, I feel like we getting closer to the sun. The energy, yeah. the information is kicking out. And it's only, it's like, we in that time, bro. We in that time to where yeah. it's not really nothing that much more that they can really do about what's going on. And that's why they doing their hardest to to just push out all this negative energy because yeah, yeah. even even through all the shit that we didn't been through and all the shit that's done happened, we still aware of what's going on. Like we still yeah, are able yeah. to process all the information that most people can't that even have access to it. You know what I'm saying? We don't even right. have access to it and we managed to figure it out. Like right. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. You no, know, nah, crazy. And I'm so thankful for TikTok, man, because if we ain't have TikTok during this whole pandemic, I don't think the world would be on the same page. I mean, like, I feel like people would know that they're making progress, but I feel like since we have this, this platform where we can all connect with one another, we know that we are, as a collective, transcending into a higher level of consciousness. Exactly. So that's what kind of makes it better for the overall plan. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Facts. If we didn't have this connection, people would be like, am I the only one that's like really doing what I need to do to exactly. help humanity evolve? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? No, and that's, that's, yeah. that's exactly what I mean. Like, a lot of the shit they doing is going against them. Like, social mm -hmm. media turned into something else. Like, you know, yeah. out of their control. And that's why, that's why they on this whole other, uh, other level of trying to censorship. But, it's mm -hmm. it, it'll always it'll always see through especially now in the digital age because you got hackers and stuff like that that's always yeah. gonna make gateways for the people like that's yeah that's what it is like it's always gonna be it's always gonna be a way but i actually mm -hmm. um, i actually gotta get off this live bro i got a six hour okay. studio session coming up but i'm glad that okay. we okay. i'm glad that we got to chop it up and build on this live oh, yeah. i appreciate it I appreciate everybody for um, being in here and, you know, building and putting out information and telling, you know, giving out topics and stuff like yeah. that. It was dope. Yes, Definitely going to do another live. That's just. Oh, yeah. Got to. bro. Know, got to. That's just to. that's just what it is. And for all the people that are just joining in right now, um, we're going to post this live. So if you didn't get to see it, it's going to be on my YouTube page. I'm going to send it to YouTube, bro. So you can post it if you want to. And then. Um, yeah. Yeah. You can find my uh, you can find my YouTube page on my TikTok homepage. You can go to my Instagram account from there. Make sure y'all follow me on there too, cause we we both be posting stuff on all of our platforms. So make sure y'all check all yeah, of that out. Okay. And um, 
Y'all can find my music on Apple Music, Spotify. Just look up Double R the Guy, and you can find it on YouTube. Yeah. Y'all go get right with that. For the people on my live, y'all go follow, bro. He made conscious music, lit music, videos about words and how your words are spells. You know what I'm saying? We all on that tight time, on the, on the same tight time. Y'all go get right with that. Right. We're going to post it on our uh, other social media like YouTube. Um, it should be in his bio. Yo, YouTube is in your bio, right? Yep. All right, bet that. So, yeah, y'all follow him and click his bio. Go to his YouTube, go subscribe to that, and your SoundCloud or whatever, Apple Music, SoundCloud, it should yep. be in there as well. Yep, and y'all go get right with that as well, man. Yeah, facts. Most, and yeah. Appreciate this live. For real. Yeah, make sure y'all go check out his stuff too. We're going to keep you updated on all the stuff that's going on about what's going yes, on in the man. industry, what's going on, period, anything that's yeah. going to do with the weather, any yeah. conspiracies, whatever, bro, on it, spiritual enlightenment, all that, so. You know, we're going we to keep building. We're going to do some more live so y'all can tap in. We're just going to keep running it up, y'all. Got to, got to, for sure, man. Facts. All right, fam. It was good chopping it up with you, bro. All right, dog. Be safe, man. I'm about to go hit this blunt real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. All right, y'all. Y'all be smooth. All right, man. Be safe, dog. One.